Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching Scarfing Scarves, and today you are in my closet because I'm going to show you how to wash your goddamn dresses. There is a literal plague going around, as well as a figurative one in the Lolita community of people not knowing how to wash their fucking shit, alright? This is a problem. Too many of you people are walking around the world with stained and stinky dresses and this is a problem, okay? And I will remedy this for you today because there is nothing to be scared of when you're washing your clothes. It's not hard. You can totally do it. And I'm going to take you step by step, all right? So first things first, let me show you the dress that we are going to wash today because I'm going to take you through the whole process. This here is Fantastic Carnival. Technically Fantastic Carnival because AP hates tees. So, right here, this dress right here. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're going to wash your dress is you're going to want to put it, put it to the side, hang it up, get it somewhere suspended. I don't want to put it over my head. Not today. So I'm going to pretend I have dignity. And what you're going to do, especially if it's AP, is you're going to go up in the dress and find the washing instructions. Right here, all right? Google Japanese washing instructions. The newer ones will have slightly different symbols, but there's plenty of pictures for the older ones too and what they mean. You'll have like, can it be washed in water? Can it be dry cleaned? Can it be this? Can it be that? Can it be ironed? But all you have to do is give it a Google and it will tell you what each of these weird little symbols mean, all right? Now you're noticing here that this thing is like, hey, maybe don't put this shit in water. Okay, so you have a dress that says dry clean only. Do not freak out, this is not the end of the world. I'm about to show you the secret to how you skip those fracking dry cleaning bills, all right? No more $20 for wearing a dress. How you do that is you first, how you test to see if you can put the dress in water is you take a clean white cloth or a Q-tip or a cotton ball, anything white, and you gently, gently, gently rub that damp on an inside seam or on the waist tie. Even better if you have a waist tie. Now, if you do that and no color comes up on that cotton ball or that Q-tip or that little white cloth that you gently rub damply on your inside seam with the color or on a waist tie, then that's your first good sign that this thing is not going to melt in the wash, okay? Your second thing that you do is if you have no color come up from that is you can then, if you have the waist tie especially, you can take that waist tie off, like so. You take your waist tie off and you put it in a bag or a pillowcase. A, there's such a thing as a delicates bag that you can buy at a store. I prefer pillowcases because I don't like zippers or anything with teeth or metal near my, near my Lolita clothes. So take a pillowcase or a delicates bag, in my case a pillowcase because everyone has a clean pillowcase. Put that in the pillowcase with a color catcher sheet. Shout color catcher sheets. You can find them at Kroger's. You can find them at Walmart's. You can find them at Target's. They're everywhere. They're like four or five bucks for a whole box of them. All right. Put a little color catcher sheet in the pillowcase with this or outside of the pillowcase in the water. Wash the waist tie. Cold water. Gentle cycle. If when that wash is done that the color catcher sheet has no color on it, you are good to go and you can wash your fracking dress in the water. It will not melt. Again, Cold water, cold, delicate cycle with delicate detergent, all right? You don't want your crazy arm and hammer will get out any stain that even looked in your direction detergent up in there. You want gentle, baby the dress, very careful, non-hypoallergenic, whatever. I don't know. I use 7th generation, the lavender wash. Love that wash. I'll put it on screen right here. I've never had an issue with it. It is 13 bucks though. But then again, it's Lolita. You've already spent like $200 on a dress, okay? Let's not skimp on washing the dress. Anyway, that's just my recommendation. I'm sure there's other gentle cleansers that you can use. All right, so before we move on to the next stage, let me maintain that this is for cotton or polyester dresses specifically, and you're gonna have to watch the ones with red dyes. Double, triple, quadruple test anything with red in it especially from AP, because AP is infamous for its bleeding red. So make sure you do that spot test thoroughly. And if you have to, even with a tiny amount of detergent on it, to make sure you don't get any pink coming up on that cotton ball, that white cloth, that Q-tip, whatever you're testing, do not dunk this fracking dress in water until you are sure that it will not bleed. Another note is for velveteen pieces, such as jewelry jabbit back here that I have hidden away. I do not dunk that in water because velvet is known to have its pile flatten and get all sorts of weird when subjected to like a dunk in the bucket. 
So I do dry clean that piece. So if you have velveteen pieces, I recommend being extra super careful with those. I am not an expert on those. What I am an expert on is washing polyester and cotton. That's what I got for you today. So let's get right back to it. So your, your waist tie, your seam check, came out good, you seem to be in a good place, you think you're ready to proceed, that means we're ready for the next step. And the next step in washing your EGL is prepping it for the washer. And by prepping it, I mean you need to take off anything that can be taken off. If it is detachable, it needs to be detached. So in this instance, we're going to take off the little star charm up here, like so. Let's get that off. It doesn't want to come off. It's very angry at me about coming off. Okay, so this little star charm. Take that off. Let's just put it out of the way. The next thing you're going to take off is the waist ties. And why? Some of you might be wondering, like, why take off the waist ties? I mean, what's the point of that? Well, you see, when an item is wet, it is heavy, which means the waist ties become much more heavy than they usually are. And when you wash them, they're going to pull and tug at the buttons. And what you could end up happening, end up have happening, is a button just full on ripping off. So anything that can come off when it's time to wash your dress, needs to come off minus the back corseting you can leave that on it's so absolutely light nothing is going to touch it so once you have everything off you can set things that don't need to be laundered aside you can launder your waist ties along with the dress which is what i usually do but for your first test you might want to leave out at least one waist tie to like check against your uh, finished product after you've washed it to make sure nothing has faded and nothing has lost color. So it's your kind of, your kind of control group is the waist tie that you haven't washed yet. So leave that one unwashed, leave it on the floor somewhere out of the way, check to make sure there's nothing else that you can detach from the dress. And if there isn't, then we will proceed to phase three. Join me in my laundry room. All right, and we're back in my laundry room. So kawaii desu. Nay, a part of me died doing that. I'm so sorry. Pretend you never heard that. All right, so we're on phase three. You've taken off everything that can possibly be taken off, except for the back corseting. You can leave that. It's fine. Any kind of ornaments or what have you. You've spot tested your waist tie or your seam with a color catcher in gentle, gentle, gentle cycle with gentle detergent on cold water and nothing has come out on your color catcher. So now we are on phase three washing the dress. I know you're nervous, but you can do this. I believe in you. Be especially confident if you have already tested your waist tie. So ignore that ugly part of my fracking laundry room. Laundry rooms are not cute, all right? So now that you've taken everything off and you're ready to go, what you're going to do is you're going to turn your dress inside out. Why? Because friction can cause your dress to fade a lot faster as well as pilling and all sorts of other things that you don't want. So what you want to do is you want to protect the delicate outside of your dress from the washing machinations. I don't know. I don't have a proper word for it. You want to keep your washer from roughing up your dress like it's in a back alley. All right. That's what we're doing. So you're going to turn your dress inside out. Make sure everything's nice laid out like so. And this is at this point that you can either wash it in a washer. Make sure it, it does not have a center agitator, all right? Make sure there, and by center ag agitator, I mean a top loader that has that little cylinder in the middle that goes, you don't want that, all right? That beats the shit out of your clothes and can dislodge all sorts of things. It's way too mean to your clothes. Be gentle. If you have a top loading washer, I recommend hand washing your clothes in one of those rope handle buckets. I will put one on the screen right now. I think they're like five bucks at Lowe's or something like that. Super cheap just a big bucket that you can use for your laundry when you're not laundering Lolita in it. And it's just a way to save your clothes a beating. All right, don't put Lolita in a top agitator. Just don't. The top loader, whatever it's called. If you're going to wash them in a washer, make sure it's one a little bit more modern than that. All right, I had a top agitator and I had to wash it in a bucket for a while, okay? So don't at me about this. All right, so use either a pillowcase which is what I prefer because I don't like having metal teeth near my delicate Lolita or a delicates bag. If you, you know, want to be fancy and have a zipper near your Lolita, I don't because I'm paranoid, but they do sell little delicates bags. If you prefer not to have to tie off a, a pillowcase and be all jury rigged, I have one, but everyone has a pillowcase. So just take your pillowcase, open it up, take your dress, 
You can fold it in half if you want to to make it fit in there a little better. Take your little clean pillowcase, put the dress in there, like so. Whoa. There you go. By the way, start out washing one dress, especially if you're not sure if the fracker's gonna bleed or not. Do not wash more than one dress immediately. Why am I grabbing dryer towels? I was about to say. Your next phase is to grab your shout color catchers, like so. Right here, okay. Grab one of these. Now technically you only need one, but I am a paranoid android, so I take two. Okay, put them back. Put one in the bag, like so. Tie off your pillowcase, like you're ready to throw a sack in the river to avoid detection by the local authorities. That's right, we're going mob boss on this. Okay, set it down. Take your other color catcher, open your washer, There's laundry in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, do your laundry first, okay? Jesus Christ. All right, don't film this. I got underwear in here. Look away. I'm filming every second. Shut up. <laughs> I'm a clean person, all right? I do, I do little loads of laundry. <laughs> Shut your hole. <laughs> anyway. Oh, like you would ever let me live this down. I would torment you endlessly. Uh-huh. Anyway, you got one color catcher in the bag with your dress. Take the other color caster, color catcher, toss it in there. I swear to God I'm sober this time. I swear to fucking God I am dead sober. I just, I cannot today. For you commenters asking what was actually in the cup, no, she actually was drunk. I Trust me. <laughs> I was there. I was so hammered. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, we're doing this sober, okay? So you got your color catcher in there, you got your color catcher in here. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take your little precious, precious sack. Heavy sack beatings are up. <laughs> what? A shocking 900%. Thank you, which means there were heavy sack beatings before. That's my favorite part of that joke. Okay, so you're gonna close your little washer. And by the way, if you're washing this in a bucket, you can just turn your dress inside out, put some gentle detergent, in your bucket, swish it around with your hand, again, cold water, dunk your dress in it, shush it, you know, like so. You should know how to hand wash things, all right? It's not hard, just shush it in the soapy water. You can let it soak for 10 minutes, but keep an eye on it if you're not sure, if there's like odor issues, you know, whatever. Spill out that water, all right, like so. Spill it out into your tub, replace it with clean, cold water, shush it again, spill out that water again, fill it with cold water again, shush it a little more, Spill it out finally, and then put it on a towel. Roll the towel to like press out the water gently. Unroll the towel, and I'll get you to another step afterwards. Hand washing is really easy. Just look up tutorials on how to hand wash it. I'm gonna show you how to machine wash this bitch because ain't nobody got time for that. So your dress is in the washer now, all right? It's the moment of truth. What you're gonna do, make sure you got your color catcher in there. Don't freaking forget. Put your color catcher's in there. You're gonna take your gentle detergent, I like to use 7th generation, the lavender scent. I have never been done wrong by this fracking detergent in my life, all right? I'm not saying it'll save your clothes, but I personally have not had an issue. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it up to your little limit there, the detergent, okay? I'm gonna spin that close, you're gonna put it back. You turn this on. You're going to turn it to delicates. Make sure it is on cold. The spin is low. And honestly, the soil level is super light on this. It's not like you're wearing this hiking, okay? If you're, if you're not like seriously fracking, fighting people in mud pits or what have you, I don't know what you're doing in your lovely dresses. After what happened with Whimsical Vanilla Chan, I don't know what half of you are doing. I don't trust any of you. But if you aren't fighting in like I don't know, the Roman Colosseum to save your lives. I don't know where I'm going with this. I need whiskey. Anyway, if you haven't been running a marathon in your dress, you can keep the soil level on light. So it's just as little time as possible 
in the washing machine. You, you don't want to beat up your clothes. The less movement and like agitation your clothes can go through, the better for their color fastness. They will fade less, they will have less pilling. Just, just be gentle, okay? Be gentle on your clothes. So then, moment of truth, hit start. And that's, that's how you wash Lolita. Join me for part two. We'll come right back once this thing quits. All right, and we're back. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove this promptly, okay? Don't let it just sit there wet. If it is gonna bleed, that's gonna make it bleed all over itself, okay? You don't wanna give it a chance to soak up and just bleed, <laughs> honestly. Don't let it bleed out, okay? Pretend it's a dying friend. Go to their rescue quickly. When you hear that beep, you need to be on top of this. What you do? Come in there, check it out. Let's take a look at our die catcher here. Their color catcher. Notice, look, no color. That means you can put it in fucking water and it won't die. So don't panic. It was a good sign, all right? You should have seen that sign first when you tested it on a waist tie. That's how your color catcher should look, i.e. no color. All right, so get your little bag up. Now we're gonna take it over to our drying area, all right? So meet me over there. All right, so before you, you know, wash your dress, before I set this wet sack down, you need to prepare your drying area with some clean towels because you're going to lay this flat to dry. When an item is wet, it is heavy and that can stress your shoulder straps, stretch things out and leave all sorts of weird creases, all right? So lay flat to dry onto clean towels. So you're gonna take your, your wet case or if you didn't use a pillowcase and you hand washed it, you're going to take your neatly pressed dress. You're going to turn it right side out, gently, very gently, not like you're trying to murder something. So this probably was an easier way to do this, but I didn't do that. You take it out. You'll notice this dress does not look like it was put through the literal ringer. It looks fine. And what you're gonna do, once you've got it all nice and right side out, is you're going to lay it on your clean towels, like so. And this part is what's most important, all right? After you've gotten it out of your washer, it hasn't bled to death, you're not on America's Most Wanted for murdering a dress. What you're gonna do is you're then going to fix everything so that it dries how you want it to. This is incredibly important. So first you're gonna go up in here and you're gonna look for if it has a tool under uh, a built-in petticoat. If it has a built-in petticoat, you're gonna make sure that built-in petticoat is laying how it's supposed to. Like so, you're gonna make sure there's no crumbled pieces. The interior liner, you want that to lay nice and straight because however, However it dries is how it's going to stay until you iron it, and you don't want to be ironing a built-in petticoat. So, you want your dress to dry really well. So you're going to take this, lay it all out, make sure it's all straight, and what you're going to do next is you're going to take the lace with your fingers, and you're going to gently, don't look at me over here, stay with me cameraman, you're going to take the lace, that's right, you sigh, you fired. And you take the lace gently with your fingers and you're going to straighten it out so that it lays how it's supposed to when it's dry. I'm just going to carefully, gently lay that lace out. Move your upper layer away for a second so you can get to it. And just take that lace and just carefully put it into place. Make sure the whole bottom layer Lace is good. If you're seeing the curtains moving, Marshmallow is doing her... Oh, she's been on, on frame a couple of times. Okay, good. Well, Marshmallow's doing her cat thing. My house is not haunted. All right. Then you're going to take the upper layer and carefully straighten it out. Everything looks good. I don't see any dye transfer. Okay. That's when you're going to be looking pretty closely at your dress carefully arranging the details so that when it dries, it doesn't dry up or dry like a wrinkled shopping bag, all right? You don't want it all wrinkly looking. Now, I am going to have to iron this because it was in the washer a minute longer than I wanted it to be because I was filming a different video, but if you, get it, if you get it out of the washer pretty quick, you're usually okay and your ironing afterwards will be minimal. Now, here's another 
another part that you have to fix up here. You see those laces that are up on the up on your bust? You need to make sure those are laid out nice too. Don't let them get all crinkly because that's like the front of your dress. Everyone's gonna notice that. So just take them gently with your hands and gently, gently, gently straighten them out. This is super easy. Anyone can do it. Do not panic. Just do it immediately, all right? Don't don't let your dress dry all crinkly and then have to take an iron to your heckin' lace. That sounds like hell, honestly. I don't want to do that. And don't forget the lace up at the top, all right? Make sure none of that's bent over or all wonky. Check your bows. Are your bows laying well? Is this good? It looks pretty good. Okay. Check that skirt one last time. I don't see any dye transfer. This dress looks gorgeous. So this dress is absolutely safe to wash. Our waist tie trick came out just fine. Once you've got it all set out like this and you've got everything arranged nicely so it's going to dry well and not dry all weird or like some crinkled up shopping bag, you're going to let it sit for about half a day and you're going to then flip it. And when you flip it, you do the same exact thing. You make sure you arrange both layers so that they're not sitting all crinkled up on each other and they won't dry funky and look all wrinkly and sad and you just keep repeating that process. And every time you do it, you put dry towels underneath it. So when you go to flip this over, your dress that you have set out to dry, when you go to flip it over, change out the towels for new dry towels, and that will speed up your drying process and will keep you from trapping moisture underneath. So that's pretty much all you need to do at this point is just let it dry, no need to do anything, and then once it's done, if you want to iron it, I would recommend, that would be a whole separate video. I'll show you guys how to iron your dresses too in a different video. This will get them clean, okay? With cotton, it's pretty easy. You just iron the dress inside out. Never put an iron directly on top of the print, okay? Turn that thing inside out. You iron it on the opposite side of the print so that you don't funk anything up because irons can have residue and all sorts of stuff on them. You don't want to be ironing in a stain, okay? I'll show you guys how to do that in a separate video. But this came out just gorgeously. I don't see a single flaw. Mind you, I have washed this before, so there better not be flaws. And finally, finally, if your dress cannot be washed at home, if you have to dry clean it, the same tips for washing it apply for dry cleaning. Take off anything that can be removed. It waist ties. Your corseting's generally okay. You can, you can keep that on. I've never heard of dry cleaners losing corseting, but any kind of like detachable gold chains like this one had, it's waist ties, if it has a clip on it or a clip-in bow, like this this bow and this bow are, sold down, are sewed down, but if they were clipped on before you take an item to a dry cleaner, unless that area is stained, take that off, okay? This is sewed on so you can leave it on, but if it was one of those clip-on AP top bows, you need to take it off because the dry cleaner, dry cleaner can lose it, all right? We got too many horror stories, do not join them. So for dry cleaning, all the advice of hand washing and washing at home applies. If it can come off, take it off because they'll lose it. It'll be bad, all right? You'll cry, save yourself from this. And also when you get it back from dry cleaning, ooh, there's a thread on it. You can uh, compare your waist tie, which wasn't dry cleaned to your dress when it's done and see if there's been any color change, fading, transfer, what have you. So you can compare and make sure it's safe to dry clean. I mean, if you've got a dress that you can't wash or dry clean, God help you. But I mean, there you go. Same with this. When this is done, check it against your waist tie. Look for color transfer, bleeding, fading. If none of the above has happened, you are good to go to wash this dress for the foreseeable future. That is how you wash Lolita fashion. It is not fracking rocket science. You too can do this. Get yourself a bucket, or if you got a front-loading washer, go to town, test your shit, wash your damn clothes. And with that, I think that about wraps that up. What do you think, cameraman? I think Marshmallow is not amused. She wants attention so bad. We've had to ignore her this entire time, and she is not amused. She is not amused at all. She wants attention, she wants treats, she wants love. So I think at this point, I've got to go and give her all of the above because she has been really fracking patient. She only stuck her hands, her hands, she only stuck her paws under my studio door like five times. That's good for her. That's an improvement. I'm so very proud. She does not look amused. <laughs> okay, so I hope this helps you wash your clothes. I hope this helps you get over the fear of washing your clothes. There's nothing scary here. 
check with your waist ties, check with your seams, and you'll be good to go from there. Use common sense. It's gonna be fine. Wash your fucking clothes. I would like to thank my patrons for making this ordeal possible. I don't even know what I've said at this point, but I hope it was somewhat productive and helpful. I, I don't know if it was. What do you think, cameraman? Was I helpful? Boo! Boo urns! Boo urns! I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you, and I'm going to put the body in our new freezer. <laughs> anyway, uh, I would like to thank my patrons for making this how to wash EGL guide possible, and also for shots of my cat, apparently. The cameraman is enamored with Marshmallow. She's cute. She is cute, I'll give you that. A little Marshmallow. So thank you guys for making this bracken nonsense possible, and should you like to join their number, and or, I don't know, make new other expletive ridden guides possible, you can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklowleadernews for more content that is best left behind several safety doors. Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time.